What is good people, right now I'm going to bring you guys a very quick and easy video which is going to be how to make a bodybuilding meal. Uh, what we're going to have is beef and some vegetables and some pasta. I don't think I've done a meal prep video like this on the channel yet so stay tuned for it. It's a very easy recipe, most of all you can do it quick and it's fairly cheap as well. And it'll help you get them gains like Goku. So stay tuned for this video. First off, what you gotta do is choose how you're gonna make the recipe. I'm using a frying pan, can I just find it easier? And I'm gonna use some light one calorie spray, some spray about four times. And then what you need to do is choose your seasonings, what you're gonna use. My staples are always mixed herbs and cayenne pepper. And then on top of that, I'm gonna add on some jerk barbecue sauce. And that's gonna be my main three seasonings. And then at the very end, I may add some Himalayan sea salt. But without further ado, start making the food. Alright, I've just turned on the heat and I've also added the meat, as you can see, to the pan. And there's one thing you need to really do before you start cooking, and that is one important step, and it's a flex. Anyways, what you need to do at this point is, one question I always get asked when it comes to the food when I do these videos, is how long do you leave certain foods on? If it's beef, beef cooks a lot quicker than chicken, so it can be, depending on what heat you put it on, I always put it on like half, so around three clicks for me. Uh, that'll be around 10 minutes and then I can start adding the veg sometimes even quicker if it's chicken It may be more like 15 minutes. It all depends on what meat you're using But for me as you know, I'm using beef today So I'll put the base seedings on so far which is just the cayenne pepper and the mixed herbs What I'm gonna do is wait to put the jet barbecue sauce on until right before I'm gonna put the veg in But while the meat is cooking what I'm gonna do is start putting on the pasta which is very easy to do So what I'm gonna do is get the pan Get some hot water, boil hot water, and put around half of this packet in there. Uh, this would be around uh, 250 grams because the full packet is 500. And usually half a packet lasts me two meals depending on how hungry I am. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let's put the pasta on. Alright, I pulled out the pasta and I added in water. Uh, with the water, people always ask about how much to put in. It's enough water that the pasta can actually absorb it and hopefully not be too wet because sometimes you put too much water in, the pasta is way too wet and you definitely have to sieve out the water. So I've found putting half an inch of water above the amount of pasta you put in the bowl or the pot is enough. Okay, while the food's cooking, I might as well talk to you guys and tell you guys what is the benefit of this meal uh, in terms of like bodybuilding and stuff like that. Uh, for the main thing I'd say is that it's affordable. This is a very cost-effective meal. For example, this full packet of pasta was only 79 pence in Tesco. And if you went to somewhere like Lidl or Aldi, you could probably get it for 50 pence, which is fine. Uh, the vegetables are always cheap, which you can get from stores. Uh, these were a little bit more pricey, purely because I decided to get them pre-sliced because it make it easier for me filming the video. But if I wasn't filming today, I would just get vegetables from any store. Um, it's normally really, really cheap. Just get a whole pepper, slice it yourself, and you're good to go. In regards to beef, if you plan on cooking on the same day or the very next day, always go to the reduced aisle when it comes to a supermarket if you don't buy from like a butcher or from musclefood.com. Because when you go there, you'll see things like this, which is reduced now and all it means is that you have to cook the food within the next day and as long as you've cooked it, it's fine. Don't buy it and leave it in your fridge for two days. As soon as you buy it, cook it either that day or the very next morning or something like that. And straight away I've saved an extra £1.50 because I decided to go to the reduced aisle. So if you're bodybuilding on a budget, that is definitely a key tip. When it comes to buying meats and you want to save money, always check the reduced aisle. You sometimes see foods that you may not have even been thinking about cooking, but because you see them on offer, you're like, hmm. Let me try it, because that's happened to me a few times. I'll go to like the reduced aisle, sometimes in Lidl or something, and there'll be like a big sale on turkey mince or prawns, and I'll just change whatever I was gonna make to fit accordingly to save me money. And as long as I make the meal myself, I know it's gonna taste good. And another reason why this is good for bodybuilding in general, this meal, is because of the volume. The amount of veg I've decided to add in this allows you to pack out the meal so you don't get cravings for other foods throughout the day. That's the good thing about eating vegetables, if you like them. The whole point is that one, you're getting your micronutrients in, we're getting 
different types of vegetables here. We've got mixed, we got sliced peppers and we got mushrooms, so we've got different types of micros in there. Um, a good way to kind of think about micros is a different color vegetable is a different type of vitamins and micro, micros you're gonna get. That's a very basic essence. So try not to eat the same vegetable all the time, try and mix it up. And the other one is the high protein content. There's a lot of protein in this meal. Um, for example, the beef, the full pack of the beef was almost at um, 80 grams of protein. So what we're gonna be looking at for half of that in a day is roughly around 35 to 40 grams of protein per serving. Unless I'm extra greedy and eat the whole two servings in one day, which could be happening today. And because we've gone for whole wheat pasta, not just your regular yellow pasta, um, we've got complex carbs and also each uh, 100 grams of this has 12.1 12, 12 grams of protein, which is quite a bit. I put in 250 grams of it. So we've got a nice bit of protein in this meal that we're gonna be having. So overall, we're looking at high protein meal, nice amount of volume, and it's very affordable. So it's three key things that all bodybuilders need. Affordable gains, high protein content, and micronutrients. Do not skip your micronutrients. Yes, macros are great, but it's always good to get your micros into because they help your body absorb the macros that you're eating throughout the day. So yeah, if you fix your macros, add your micros. But anyways, I'll get back to you and I'll start adding in the vegetables and the food's almost done. All right guys, the beef is almost complete. As you can see, the majority of it is brown. It's only a little bit of red. Uh, so what I'm going to do is add in first is the mushrooms because the mushrooms actually need a little bit of cooking whereas the sliced peppers really you can eat that straight out of the packet. So the sliced peppers I'm not going to put on until near the very end. So I'm going to add in the mushrooms, leave it on there for about two to three minutes, then add in the jerk sauce on top of it. Then I'm going to add in the sliced peppers. Right, so the beef stir fry is now complete and the only thing I'm going to do now, because the pasta is basically finished, is put on a little bit more Jamaican sole. So I'm putting on some of the jerk barbecue sauce on the pasta. I sometimes do that instead of using pasta sauce because it just tastes more Jamaican-y to me and I kind of prefer it with a bit more spice. Regular pasta sauce to me just tastes like tomatoes which is great but for my kind of taste palette I like things a little bit more of a spice, more of a kick to it. So that's what I'm going to do is add some of this. Doesn't have to be a big amount, just a few little drops gets quite strong. That should be enough and you'll get a taste, especially as it's already in the pot anyway. Yeah? Uh, maybe a tad more. Alright, and an optional step now, which is just up to you, is adding a little bit of Himalayan sea salt on top. I'll probably just sprinkle maybe three little cracks on it and that is really the meal done and as you can see I've still got enough meals for another day so for those who do meal preps feel free to obviously get your Tupperware box and start dishing it out me personally I'm probably gonna eat that tomorrow so I'm just gonna leave it in the frying pan it's easier for me but do whatever makes life easier for you and how to maintain eating better so yeah I'm really happy with the meal how it turned out I've got nice complex carbs in there whole bunch of pasta we've got vegetables in there for our micros and we got a nice bit of beef for protein very good meal very easy meal as you saw me make it's not hard I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can do it out there and for those of you that always try to do my mess for those of you that do try my recipes and let me know and screenshot me on snapchat please do that again feel free to tag me on instagram or show me on snapchat and show me how you get on with the meal and let me know in the comments of this video if you found the recipe easy to do or if you like the recipe or if you're going to try it out but anyways people like comment subscribe this video i'm about to bounce and eat that food before it gets cold and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will probably be a video on how to stay in shape during the holidays. I know a lot of people always kind of slip. But anyways, stay getting games, people. I am gone, and don't forget to hit the like. Peace.